All right, so you got yourself in a situation and you want to decide which is best. Should I pay off my debt? Should I save my money? Should I purchase insurance? You just don't know really where to start. Let's kind of break down a couple of options you have. If you have a high amount of debt, and let's say it's consumer debt, see if you can consolidate that debt into a um, balance transfer and then get you a low interest rate or get you a period of time of maybe 18 months before interest is starting to charge on those particular transactions once you transfer that balance that's a balance transfer and it's also looking into any debt consolidation tools that are available for you that's one thing to think about now let's think about life insurance let's think about you're already pretty strapped or you may be the main breadwinner in your household and you're wondering if anything shall happen to me how will people that are that i'm responsible for how are they going to one bury me and how are they going to provide for themselves during that time will they be dependent upon other people in the family or will they be taken care of using insurance that's how you want to think about your life insurance which your disability insurance is more so focused on think about the specialization that's required in your type of work are you a surgeon or your hairdresser like what type of work do you do in the level of specialization if your hands should go out in either of those positions it's going to cripple your ability to make money you want to look into disability insurance to determine how you can recover your income should you lose access to whatever makes you that money all right now let's think about our uh, liability insurance this is when you have your different property and casualty coverages you have business that you're operating you got errors and emission insurance this is where anything that you may be responsible for anything that you're liable for you want to go ahead and have coverage so that if you are sued or if you have to replace that item it will not be a financial burden on you and it will not be an emotional burden on you that's how you want to look at your liability insurance, and that's how you want to look at your property and casualty insurance. Sometimes it's mandatory depending on what exactly we're talking about. Other times it's not mandatory. It's just a better option than not insuring it. All right, moving into another topic that would be refinancing. Refinancing is a topic that you want to explore when there is an interest rate change um when there's also the opportunity for you to increase your cash flow if you're looking for ways that you can conserve the income you have going in because you feel like it's just going out everywhere think about how to refinance some of the bills that you already signed on for because where you may have been charged let's say seven percent three years ago interest rates may be three percent so when you refinance that means your monthly bill is lower the last thing I want to say is, even if you do have policies, even if you do have investments, you want to do portfolio review and policy reviews. This makes sure the product that you have still works for your current needs now, and you're also able to ensure that the companies are not transferring costs to you. You may see after having a policy for a while that your premium may increase or decrease. Depending on the type of um, insurance you have, that could be problematic. For example, car insurance normally after having car insurance for a longer time it gets cheaper the cost of your insurance gets cheaper with car insurance because you're less riskier the longer you've had the insurance and the longer you've had the car all right now when you have something such as long-term care insurance which ensures that as you get older in life the cost of your medical expenses can be supplemented that's a insurance that normally increases the longer you have it and some of that is because of um, your risk as um, as a policy holder but another reason is because it gets more expensive to carry these policies and sometimes people live longer than expected in underwriting sometimes companies costs increase because of a different pool of people anything and they want to transfer those costs over to you you can re View your policy to ensure that what you have is still appropriate and determine ways to either get that premium decreased or ensure that it is still the coverage that you have is sufficient for the type of loss that you're potentially facing. Sometimes where you may have had a $200,000 policy, now you need a $350,000 policy and it's, it's time to increase your coverages. So it's all about keeping up with what you have and doing those consistent reviews with your financial advisors.